Some days I'm a speaker. On the best days, I get to be a meat maker. <laughs> Way different than this. A freezing room with meat. It's so nice. Take me there. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, with all the other stresses I'm sure we all go through, uh, there's a lot of them, right? I mean, in the meat world, I'm sure many of you guys have had super sleepless nights worrying about green mold or Wink. <laughs> Three and molds, or gosh, payroll? That sucks. Uh, USDA has to all this junk, and you know, there's plenty of sleepless nights, and I feel like this is an amazing opportunity for me to thank somebody that is so crucial to what I do, and so crucial to my business, and that is the spirits and liquor. I love you people. <laughs> I love liquor. <laughs> Um, while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and thank the coffee people, because mornings suck without you. Coffee people, anyway. Anyway, much better. Back. Anywho, uh, what we're really here to do is thank somebody that is so important to what it is, and that is the good food people. Everybody that does it. Sarah Weiner, um, Waverly, all the great people, you know, what they do has really allowed me to do exactly what I've dreamed of since I started my apprenticeship when I was 16 years old, excuse me, 18 years old in Switzerland, and that was to make meat. You know, they've allowed me to source my meat, go the way I want to do it, do it slow, mold, and they're going to teach the people of America that what we are doing is right, and that what we are making is the proper way to do it. You know, that would be impossible without them, if you really think about it, nobody's doing that. It's still a, a world in the meat world where it's all about margin and speed and the fastest, and they've allowed me to worry about great worries, you know, what my purveyor is, what my farmer's making, how all these things are doing. So, honestly, I just really wanted to thank the Good Food Awards, how much they do for us is amazing. They've really allowed me, you know, honestly, this is our ninth award, Awesome. <laughs> Nobody's counting. No. Um, um, but really, nine years ago, or nine, Jesus, um, four years ago, uh, I was my only employee in my 900 squ square foot meat shop. I was scrubbing the floors, butchering the animals, stuffing the sausage, dealing with the USDA, me and Tyler working farmer nights, farmers markets every single evening, trying to make money. It was horrible. In a, in a way, it's really, really a, a ton of work. And then the Good food, food Awards allowed us to win three awards, and we came down here, and it was 40 years ago Saturday that we were working the farmer's market right down here. And uh, some guy named Sam from some store named Byrat, <laughs> it's really not that cool, came up to us. <laughs> came up to us and asked us, if you guys ship you know, to California, and can I get a wholesale application? And I lied, sorry. For my teeth, and I was like, you bet, Sam, of course. Buy rights the store, I'll send it to you, I'll get my sales team. <laughs> ship that on down here, you're gonna love it, it's gonna be amazing. Oh, I know how to ship in California. It's easy. Anywho, I love you guys all so much, we really do. Thank you so much for everything we've done for Olympic Cruisers, Sarah, and everybody else. So much so that my good business partner, Tyler, wrote you guys a new anthem. Next time we're standing on stage, we're going to get a Grammy. <laughs> All right, you're wanting to get your GoPros out right now. <laughs> Oh! 